Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video on how to. Today we're going to show you how to remap the Bixby button on your phone. Please go ahead and subscribe down below so you get notification of any future videos. Now let's get into it. The Bixby button is on the new Galaxy phones on S8, I believe, S9 and S10 and it's very annoying because most people don't even care about Bixby because we have so many other great apps we don't even need Samsung's Bixby. So so what we want to do is we want to remap it to use it for a different app or to disable it altogether. So what you're going to be doing first thing is you're going to click, you're going to go here and click the Bixby button once. I'm going to do it twice because I already set it up, um, change it, but you're going to click once and then you're going to, you're going to see this. Either you're going to see this or you're going to have to, you're going to see to log in. So first things first, log in to the Bixby app. Now, once you are logged in, make sure you have the latest update for it. So go to the settings, click these three dots over here. Let me, ah, there you go. Click these three dots, click on settings, go down all the way to the bottom of settings, click on about Bixby voice. And you see, I have, it says the latest version is already installed. If it's not, if you don't have the latest version already, you're going to go ahead and click, there'll be like an update button over here. You click update and once it's updated, you go back to the Bixby app from the beginning and then go to, uh, and then once you're in the Bixby app again, go to these three dots. So if you, so if you already have the latest update and everything, go to the Bixby uh, app, click the three dots, go down to settings, scroll down to the Bixby key option over here that's so great so here we have the bixby option we have two different options of what we could do with the bixby key so the first thing is to have a single press to open bixby and then the double press you could choose a different app or you don't have to choose anything the second option is to have double press of the bixby button to open bixby and then use a single press to either do nothing or to open another app so I'm going to choose this, uh, to do double press open Bixby because I want to push it the furthest away possible that I don't need it. There's no way to like disable the whole button altogether. So I'm going to just double press to open Bixby and then I'm going to use a different app to open Bixby. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this tab, uh, this on thing over here, and then you're going to click use single press. Once you click use single press, it says open app. You're going to click on the settings icon. It says open app, you click on the settings icon, and this will show you all the apps available to set to the Bixby uh, button. So you can choose any app you want from your phone. Of course, it does limit you. You can um, point it to Google Assistant because that would be competing directly with Bixby. But you can even use Google Chrome, you can use your, your Google Drive, you, you can use Disney app, any app you have here on your phone. You could basically remap it to use this button. And that is cool about this phone, these phones. So I'm, I'll show, I chose the, to use the camera app. So what you do is you click it, you choose the camera app. So I'll, I'll leave, go out of it over here. I'll close all my apps and click this button, the big speed button, click it once. And now it opens the camera app. And there you have it. That is how to move to remap the Bixby button in the new Galaxy S line phones so you're not bothered by every time you're clicking that button and you're like, I don't want this. So there you go. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please go ahead, subscribe down below. Please like, comment, and do anything else you do here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching.